Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chao Tayong. Translation will be done by Mrs. Chao. While we are setting up the microphone for the translation, um, I a short announcement in German. Sie können auch gerne heute Fragen auf Deutsch stellen, weil Frau Chang auch Deutsch sprechen übersetzen kann, ist Mandarin. Otherwise, we would like to proceed in English. And you are also invited to ask questions. Give us a sign and you get a microphone. Tao Danyang, thank you very much for your film. Um, I would like to start asking you about um, the village we saw, this remote village. Um, what, uh, why did you um, pick this village to shoot your film, and what is the meaning for you of this village? Uh, 一直都没有变。uh, it was originally a city. Um, um, in 1985, um, the government had, or the city was di dissolved. The government left, and it became like a deserted town. And um, and so um, it became uh, something different than uh, how it was uh, during the uh, revolution. 就是我喜欢这个地方，它有一个特点，就是。呃，它既是农村，但是又不是农村，它又又像城市啊，就是完全是一个说不清楚的一个一个地方。And the reason why I like it so much is because um, it's somehow uh ambiguous uh how this town is like uh it's uh a little bit like a farming place, but then um it also has some kind of characteristic of a city. It is um, this village is um, kind of seems to be detached from the big cities, and now I have a question regarding the characters because the characters, the male characters, um, the mayor and Ren Wei, they um, seem to have, if I may say, that kind of split personalities. On the one hand, in different ways. On the one hand, they care for their environment. On the other hand, they carry out really cruel deeds. So this village is really remote, but in how far are these two male characters maybe representing Chinese society? That's my question. And in, why did you shape and design them this way? Uh, 中国社会的什么地方吗？就是因为他感觉到说这个角色好像有一个分裂的一个人格在里面。呃，其实我们中国人现在，呃，中国大陆了哈，呃，多数人都是处于一种分裂的状态。呃，I uh, think uh, in mainland China, most of the people have this split character. 我自己也属于那种人格比较分裂的。呃，including me. 呃，当然就是这两个人物，他有一个啊，有一个有一个假设哈，就是呃，权力和普通人他们之间，他们之间所发生的事儿，呃，其实是都呃都没有办法，就是他们的命运是完全没有办法自己控制的。um, so what hypothetically was uh, said, uh, these two main characters, their destiny, um, something about their destiny, that's, uh, that's not what they can control. Uh, so in this film, you cannot really, uh, you also cannot really say what, who, who is the bad guy or who is the good one. You can only say that, um, well, um, 
they 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 are unlucky to be born in China. I would like to ask um, a question regarding this um, the whole um, family planning matter, and we see it here as um, forced abortions. Actually, um, state really drastically. The question is, um, in how far is this a realistic representation of um, proceedings or processes um, happening in China, or in how far is it maybe exaggerated? 他在一个女性有关于计划生育的部分，然后，嗯，当然我们在电影上看到的是被强迫堕胎，然后他想要知道就是说，呃，病人所描述的离真实的过程。呃，真实要比真实残酷的多。It's more cruel in reality. 你们都没有办法想象。Just try to imagine as worse as possible. Um, maybe it will soon be changed. Uh, because of the population in China and and also the social problems uh, nowadays in China uh, nowadays in China, um, this might be forced to change. Because very soon the population in China. Um, uh, will include less and less uh, younger people. And 20 years later, I will become one of the old people. And my generation um, is the, uh, you can say, is the most, um, the most people in China at the moment, in the population. Um, I see there's a question in the front. I give you. Oh, there is a microphone coming from the side. Uh, kind of. Uh, <laughs> this was a very disturbing uh, movie. And um, thank you very much. And can you tell us uh, something about the production process uh, on the set? How, how did you manage to, to shoot such a movie? Um, 他想要请问就是在那个制作的过程呃对不起首先他说谢谢你电影然后嗯然后他想要呃要了解一下制作的过程在拍摄的现场的状况呃我们拍摄都很随意我的剧组成员只有呃二十个人不到吧就十八九个